Hey, it's good to see you. We are back in Dollar Tree and I don't know what we're gonna do. We may organize some stuff, but check this out. I just came in and they have what well, says solar spotlights, but look, we have all kinds of movies up here for a dollar. This is the DVD and the digital copy of Catching Fire. 27 dresses. Normally when you see these movies up here, they're things you've never heard of. They even have some Blu-rays up here. Look at that. Wow. Here's the Blu-ray of Catching Fire. Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. Here's Bull Durham. What about that? Gosh. Now some of them I've never heard of, but we have Twilight Breaking Dawn. Part 2. Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie. Alvin and the Chipmunks. That's the cartoon. Ooh, Extreme Dinosaurs. That's from the BBC. We loved all the dinosaur movies. that The, B, uh, the BBC did a bunch of documentaries on um, walking with dinosaurs and all that. My kids love those. Here's Shark. The Ocean's Greatest Predators. Curious George. You know, he had a tail when I was a kid. That's one of the Mandela effects. Curious George, I swear to God, he had a tail when I was a kid. They say he never had a tail. I, I, I distinctly remember him having a tail. Here's the complete series of 10 items or less. These are a dollar. These are only a dollar. The Jetsons and Robo WrestleMania. Okay. Justice League, Gods and Monsters. That's a cartoon, I believe. Alien Outpost. That's a Blu-ray. Oh, the Chronicles of Riddick. I think I saw that. I don't remember how I felt about it. But yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Okay. Of course, they have their Easter stuff out. They have the really pretty silver mesh that's multicolored. This made my, my Easter wreath so pretty. They have a bunch of it. All they have is the multicolored mesh. Oh, look at the little felt bunny clips. Little clothespins, those are adorable. Okay, let me see. I'll come over here. Well, what can we do? Now see, why can't Walmart do this? Why can't they put out little things for people to test the nail polish on? It would really help. Well, they have lots of this Kiss uh, nail, the, the gel shine. That's a pretty one. One thing I've noticed though is um, they don't put names on their nail polish anymore. It's just a string of letters and numbers. I wore one recently and a lot of people said they liked it. Um, it was called Necessity. It's, um, it's really similar to this, only it's got a kind of a glitter shine to it. Here's a yellow. It's called My Color. That's very cheerful. Oh, a gold one. It's just a bunch of numbers and letters. DTGNP05. A nice silver, too. I didn't, I didn't come over here to do this. Let's see. All right. Lord God, okay. Oof. <laughs> Okay, what can we do here? Now this is at 8 p.m. This is like Tylenol p.m. which has acetaminophen in it and diphenhydramine. It has 38 milligrams of diphen diphenhydramine. Now that is per tablet. That's a lot of diphenhydramine. And we have good old Excedrin migraine. These little packets are great for your purse. They are. Okay. Now here we have just the diphenhydramine. That is generic Benadryl. You can get 36, oh wait, I see where that goes. You can get 36 tablets of diphenhydramine for a dollar. Although I will say, if you go to uh, Dollar General, to the Dollar Days section, you can, uh, usually you can find bottles of 100 same stuff, same thing, but you can get a bottle of a hundred diphenhydramine tablets for the same price. They're a dollar. 
so you can get a little bit more for your money there just just a tip I can't slide that up all the way because there's a little strip here I'll do the best I can though all right we have lots of diphenhydramine now people do take this for allergies one of the main side effects is drowsiness um, it makes me really sleepy I can't take it during the day it knocks me out but if you need to if you need help sleeping it it might be useful I don't like stacking them that high they get wobbly but I'll do the best I can. Oops. What I do? Lots of diphenhydramine. Back there. Oh, dang it. It's so hard to get them right. Because it, it's like dominoes. You just touch one and they all, they all go bonkers. Okay, so this is... Um, well, they say it's compar comparable to Excedrin PM. Actually, I think, yeah, Tylenol PM, I don't think has that much diphenhydramine in it, but it has 38 milligrams per tablet. That's a lot. And I find for me, now it's, you know, everybody's different, but if I take, if I take more than 25 milligrams of diphenhydramine, it leaves me feeling like hungover the next day. Not hungover like you've been drinking, but it just leaves me kind of groggy the next day. Now this is generic Zyrtec. This is a tyrosine. And you can get 14 of those. And that's, you only take one a day. 14 doses of that for a dollar. So that's a two week supply for a dollar. That's a really good deal. Oh, somebody took some leave. Literally. I'll put that down there. Okay. Now this is brand name Aleve. That is naproxen sodium. Um, you can get six of these caplets for a dollar. They also have a generic. Uh, if I can, if I see it, I'll show it to you. We have nighttime liquid capsules. This is like a uh, generic, um, what you call it, NyQuil. Here's a little packet of Advil. This is brand name ibuprofen. You can get six coated tablets for one dollar or you can get the generic you can get 30 of the generics for the same price now these shelves are hard because you see there's there's no room up there to do anything but I'm going to do the best I can oh now we have different forms of this generic ibuprofen we have the tablets here. You can also get the cute little minis. That's the actual size. Or, what in the world? You can also get the little soft gels. Now, you're not going to get as many of those. You only get six of those. Or ten minis for a dollar. Um, honestly, I mean, they're small. But the tablets are small, although this is one of the liquid caplets, so I think it's supposed to be fast acting or something. I'm going to leave these turned this way because these boxes are about as unstable as my ex-husband, so I don't want them to fall. Now this is Fexofenidine. That is generic Allegra. And that is a mess back there. We'll get to that in a minute. Let me let me focus on this area up here. These are the minis. That's a mini. The box is just tiny. Here are some soft gels. Here. And another mini. Here. These are the tablets. And the tablets. Gosh, we got a mess back there. Ooh. It's a challenge, I'll tell you. All right. Yeah, it's it's hard because if you 
bump one, they all get moved the wrong way. Um, now I can't reach everything. I it's hard. I'm gonna do the best I can. What in the world happened back there? Uh oh, what did I just do? It's all of these are all tablets. Good gosh. This hasn't been straightened in a while, you can tell. Uh oh, that's um no, that's the that's a soft gel. So is that. Don't look back there. That's bad trash. Don't look at it. When I was a kid, that just reminded me of something my mother used to say. When I was a kid back in the 70s, you could walk into a service station and they would have uh, magazines of a certain type right out on the stands. Like right when you walked in, you could see just, you know, naked women right there, right up front. And my, my mother would do that. She would turn me and not let me look over there. And she'd say, don't look at that. That's bad trash. <laughs> That's just what she would say to keep me from, you know, don't look over there. <laughs> there would just be like jugs or whatever they were called. The magazines right out there. That's no disrespect to my mom. It was just a random memory. Okay, here we have, this is, um like extra strength Excedrin is headache relief with acetaminophen, aspirin, and caffeine. I only see two of these. We're just going to put them right there. Um, keep working down here. I keep getting distracted. I'm distracting myself somehow. But yeah, then they passed a law where they could not put those magazines out like that anymore. You can still get them, but they keep them but yeah, they they changed it where they couldn't put those magazines out right right there where everybody walking in could just you know they were they were at eye level. I remember being a little kid and they were right at they were like right at eye level. And some of them had covers that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> like okay, I can remember saying about one mom that lady has no panties on. <laughs> This is tension headache relief. All this is is acetaminophen and caffeine. These are hard to reach. You get 24 of these caplets. I believe you take two. Each dose is, is two. Pull that up a little bit. This is uh, vitamin C for immune system support. And here we have regular old acetaminophen, 500 milligrams. That is like extra strength Tylenol. Regular strength Tylenol is only 325 milligrams per tablet. And low dose enteric coated aspirin is here. Aspirin is an NSAID, N S A I D, which stands for non steroidal anti inflammatory drug. Ibuprofen is also an NSAID, as well as naproxen sodium, which is generic, I believe. I had to learn the names of hundreds of generic drugs when I worked in hospital pharmacy. It's very different from retail pharmacy, which I have also done. I worked in retail pharmacy for about two years and hospital pharmacy for three years. And one of the first things you have to do is start learning generic drug names. Because all of the unit dose drugs were organized by the generic name, not a brand name. So you had to know where to find them. You actually learn it pretty quickly because you do it all day. These are Tylenol Extra Strength. Six caplets for one dollar. Oh, look at what I just... 
trying to stand them up here. We can put some of them up here. Look at that one. I knocked off an ibuprofen a minute ago, too. Tylenol. I don't know why. I think this one's going to look really pretty when we're done. Sometimes I get done and it's just kind of like, eh, eh. It's all right, I guess. I think this one is going to be majestic. I'm not even kidding. I think it is. I think it's going to be really nice. All right. This is also extra strength, uh, generic extra strength Tylenol. But it's the uh, rapid release gel caps. And you're only going to get 12 of those instead of 40. But they're supposed to work faster. So you're going to pay for that. Right beside it, we have Pain Relief PM. Now, anytime you see PM in the name, it is probably going to have diphenhydramine in it. One of the main side effects is of diphenhydramine is that it causes drowsiness. So they use it as a sleep aid for people too. See, it has acetaminophen, 500 milligrams, 25 milligrams of diphenhydramine. But if you take the two tablet dose, you're going to end up with 50 milligrams of diphenhydramine, which I think is a bit much. Okay. Yeah, 50 milligrams of diphenhydramine leaves me feeling drowsy the next day. I'll move that over a little bit. All right. Down here we have the chewable aspirin. We used to call it baby aspirin before they realized it. It was related to rice syndrome in kids. They stopped giving it to them. When I was a kid, that was the go-to for my mom. If I had a fever, that's what she'd give me. Baby aspirin. All right, Advil. I think it was back in the 80s or 90s that they started saying don't do that. Okay. This is Advil Multisymptom Cold and Flu. Now, this has ibuprofen, 200 milligrams. It also has phenylephrine, which is a nasal de decongestant. 10 milligrams. Phenylephrine is garbage. Don't waste your time on it. Get pseudoephedrine behind the counter. There, you can't get it like this anymore because the meth people screwed that up for us. We have chlorpheniramine malleate, which is an antihistamine that you don't see a lot. 4 milligrams. Um, I don't think it causes drowsiness, but I'm not, don't take any of this as medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a pharmacist. Blah, blah, blah. This is just for entertainment purposes. And different drugs can have different side effects for different people. And my grandmother could take... There's a fexofenadine sitting back there. My grandmother could take Benadryl, and it didn't make her sleepy at all. It didn't bother her a bit. I was jealous. I can't take that stuff during the day. It knocks me out. All right, you naproxens. Naproxen sodium, see it also tells you on here that's an NSAID. It helps fight inflammation in the body. And a lot of times that inflammation is what's causing the pain. So, you take that. You only have to take this every 12 hours, so that's, you get 15 doses. You only have to take one. 15 doses of generic Aleve for $1. Pretty good deal. All right down here these are hard because I can't really grab them properly it's difficult I'm sorry I can't get all of them I do the best I can though they're putting out stock here so that's 30 tablets Now the reason, okay, yeah, I'll show it to you in a second. We have two versions of ibuprofen. It's the same thing, but you're going to see that the boxes look different, but it's the exact same thing. I'm going to do the best I can with these. I got vitamins in my way over here. Sorry, that's about the best I can do. With that. Okay. 
We have some at the cone hiding back here. Who can see it behind all the tongues? Nobody. Now, these boxes don't stand up too well. I'm going to stick them over here where people can see them. The trick with these is you stack some this way. And they kind of work like a little wall. And uh, cause see they they just don't they just don't stand up too great. So you use them to kind of prop the other ones up. Here's an Aleve. I just did the Aleve. Oh, it's right here. Let's put that right there. I'm at least gonna put a few of them. This stuff here is awesome. I take this stuff, this Nature Garden Sleep Aid. I do, I, you get eight doses for a dollar. I'm gonna buy some before I go. It really helps me sleep better and it doesn't leave me groggy the next day. Now here's the other ibuprofen I was telling you about. It's the same strength. It does come in a caplet form instead of a tablet. 200 milligrams of ibuprofen. The reason this box is orange and this one is blue is because Motrin is another brand name for ibuprofen and it comes in an orange box. So if you came over here looking for Motrin, your eyes are going to be drawn to this orange right here. And it even says up here, compared to the active ingredients of Motrin IB caplets. Advil comes in a blue box. So if you're looking for Advil, you see it's blue and it has that grid on it that light blue grid. You look at these, they have a blue box and a light blue grid and it says it's comparable to Advil. Here's another thing. Um, this is dextromethorphan, which is a cough suppressant and it's actually great. I, um, I use this myself. It's like Robitussin long-acting cough gels. Um, and it really, really helps. Like if you have a dry cough that's keeping you awake at night, you take one of those, it knocks it right out and you can sleep. I swear by it, I've been using it for years. And you get 15 doses for only a dollar. It's a heck of a bargain. Some of these are turned the wrong way. I am really sorry, <laughs> but it's hard to reach them all. Look at that. They're all turned incorrectly. These have a light blue grid just like the ibuprofen. Okay, now this is glyphenicin. This is like mucinex. This um, helps. This, this is an expectorant, which means it's going to loosen the phlegm and that nasty stuff in your chest. It helps to thin it and loosen it up to relieve chest congestion. These are band aids. Don't take these. Don't. You'll choke. Here's bisacodyl, which is a stimulant laxative. It's comparative to Dulcolax. The nurses at the hospital where I used to work would argue about how that was pronounced. Some called it bisacodyl, some pronounced it biscadil, and they would argue about it, and I thought it was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever heard. Okay. Oops, these don't stand up worth a darn. Good golly, that is awful. I'm trying to... Oops. It's hard because my arm catches on the other stuff and it messes up what I've already done. Now here's ibuprofen. Again, this is the generic Motrin, but it's the exact same drug. But you can get it in an orange box or a blue box, just whichever you like. And it's the same thing. I've heard people swear that Motrin works better than ibuprofen and vice versa, but I'm not going to speak to it. Uh what do you think so far? I think it looks, I think it looks pretty. Sometimes you have to just stop and admire what you've done. It gives you motivation to keep going. You know, I had to mow my yard the other day and now it's covered in snow. 
I did. It's been a crazy winter. But it, it because it's been so warm, my grass really had really grown. And I got to looking at it and I said, Lord, I need to mow. <laughs> it's February, but I need to mow my yard. So I got out and mowed and weed eat it and it looks wonderful now that it's covered in snow. <laughs> but yeah, I mowed. I got two bags of clippings off of it. This is going to be either great or catastrophic. Oh, there we go. Dang it. They don't, they don't stand up. I'm not going to put these right next to the edge because they fall off. Here's some more bisacodal. That won't even fit. No, look, see, they're they're sideways. Why would you even? Maybe I can. Maybe no, they'll fit. Okay. Oops. Had to be careful. The stalkers are having a conversation on the next aisle. I'm not about to go tell them to shut up. They're working. Mucus relief. That's the guaifenesin again. I can't reach it. And I have on a sweater and I need to pull my sleeve up. Oh man. Yeah. I'll just take those down for the moment. Because I can't get at it. Sorry. I forgot I was holding the phone in there for a second. Mm -hmm. I thought that's all I can reach, I'm sorry. Okay. Now here is daytime and nighttime, which is like Dayquil and Nyquil. And another Napoxin sodium. Effects of phenidine back there. Ooh, that's tough. Okay, daytime. This is day no, this is daytime cold and flu. That's something else. Okay, daytime liquid capsules, that's just like uh, night, uh, day cool. It has acetaminophen in it for your fever and pain, dextromethorphan, which is your suppressant, and that garbage phenylephrine, which is supposed to be a decongestant, but it's, it doesn't work. That's just my opinion, but I think it's awful. I just knock every one of those off. They don't stack very well. My goodness. Get up there. I can't, they keep falling off. Okay. That is generic NyQuil. You see? Look. They're like lemmings. They just... Oh, I wish I had two hands. I don't have two hands to do this with. But you know... People say, well, why don't you use a GoPro? That falls into the calling too much attention to myself category. I can't walk in here looking like that guy from the courtroom scene in Idiocracy. Okay, these boxes have about crawled up my butt. I can't stand it. They, okay, they keep falling. I give up. Don't look at that, I made a mess. So now with this, you get 10 soft gels. That is going to be five doses because you have to take two. And I have given up on them. I'm divorcing myself from them. I'm mad at them. Now, this here, now this has acetaminophen, dextromethorphan, and phenylephrine in it. This is like Alka-Seltzer Plus Day Cold and Flu. Which is the same, well, the, the strengths may be different, but it's the same as that. Now, that is Vicks Dayquil. Huh. 
Nasal congestion, cough, sinus pressure, headache and body ache, and sore throat. Hmm. That's all right. Now this has daytime and nighttime in it. You get six of each. That's a bit excessive. Um, Multi-symptom, daytime, nighttime. The difference is right here. This doxylamine succinate, that's an antihistamine that causes drowsiness, but again, you don't see that in most over-the-counter stuff, but they do have it in NyQuil. You're not gonna find that in the daytime dose. All you're getting is acetaminophen, dextromethorphan, and phenylephrine. That's the difference between the two. I'm gonna put this right here because there's nowhere else really for it to go. Okay. All right, I have done about all I'm going to do. I, I think it's beautiful. What do you think? You think it looks better? I think it's pretty cool. I don't know that it's majestic. I was kind of hoping it would be, but it's, I wouldn't go that far. I would say it's, it's perfectly decent. It's totally decent. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I always enjoy doing this and people ask me why. I enjoy it because I can. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again soon.